Hello students, problems in volume and surface area chapter in class 9 are often tricky for the following reasons. Number 1, it's not easy to visualize what's going on and more importantly, number 2, it's not clear which formula should be applied in what situation. Here, we have an example problem which has some of these ideas. Let's see how to solve this question. The total surface area of a hollow metal cylinder including its rims is 338 pi centimeter square. If its height is 10 centimeter and its thickness is 3 centimeter, find the volume of metal in the cylinder. Okay. How do we go about solving such questions? Well, let's start with what is known. First thing is we are given a cylinder. So, let's draw a cylinder. But this is not just any cylinder. It is a hollow metal cylinder. That means, it is going to have an inner radius small r okay, and an outer radius which is capital R and we are also given that its height is 10 centimeter. Okay? So, that means this is the cylinder. Now, there is an outer and an inner portion. Okay? Now, we are also given that the total surface area is 338 pi centimeter square. Now, what is the total surface area? Now, this total surface area is going to have four components. Okay? There is an outer, inner, top strip and bottom strip. Of course, it is not very easy to understand why exactly these components. So, let us look at this step by step. So, the first thing is the outer surface area. What is that? Well, it is the curved surface area of the outer cylinder. Now, the outer cylinder has radius capital R and height H. So, its curved surface area, the formula we know is 2 pi capital R H. Okay? Now, the next is the inner surface area. Okay? The inner surface area is again the curved surface area of the inner portion. Okay? Now, here it looks like the top and bottom are also there, but that is not the correct uh, way to understand. The only the curved portion of the inner cylinder should be taken and that is actually going to be again 2 pi into small r into h. So, there are two different surface areas because it is a hollow metal cylinder. If it is a solid cylinder, there is only one outer surface area. Okay? But this is not all. The problem says that including its rims, that means the top and bottom portion. Okay? Now, if you look at the top strip, okay, now the top strip is this portion. Okay? Now, this is the difference in area between the outer circle and the inner circle. That means, this area is pi times capital R square minus small r square and similarly, the bottom strip is also going to have the same pi times capital R square minus small r square. Okay, so, this is the expression for the total surface area. Now, we are given that this total surface area is 338. So, what we can say is that 338 pi is this expression. Here, we can take 2 pi as common okay, and write this as capital R h plus small r h plus capital R square minus small r square and 2 pi will cancel because pi cancels and 338 by 2 will be 169. So, you get 169 is here you can take h common capital R plus small r and then capital R square minus small r square. Okay. Now, let us look at this expression. We can apply identities and write this as capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r. Why did we do that? Because this way, capital R plus small r can be taken as common and we can simplify this as r plus r times h plus r minus r. Okay? Now, here the important thing is we do not know small r, we do not know capital R, none of that is given. Okay? So, how do we proceed? Now, the only thing we seem to know here is h is equal to 10. That is all we know, okay? well, 10 centimeter. But what else is given? An important thing is 
the thickness is given as 3 cm what is thickness well that is that thickness okay both for top and bottom okay now so that is the thickness but what is the thickness well that thickness is nothing but the difference between the outer radius and the inner radius that means capital r minus small r is the thickness which is given as 3 cm so we can say r minus r is 3 now look at this expression h is known r minus r is known so we can write this as okay capital r plus small r times 10 plus 3 which is 13 okay so 13 times r plus r is 169 which means we have solved that r plus r that is the capital r plus small r outer radius plus inner radius equals 13 okay this is very very useful for calculating volume later okay so let's take all of these this is what we have solved so far this is not the end of the problem because what is asked in the question is the volume of metal in the cylinder okay now the question is what is the volume of metal it is the outer volume minus the inner volume now let's again look at this what is outer volume outer volume is if the outer radius cylinder was a solid cylinder its total volume would be the outer volume now from that you subtract the inner solid cylinder then you will get the volume of the metal alone so this is outer and then that is pi times capital r square times h because we know that the volume of the outer cylinder is pi r square h and if you subtract the inner cylinder volume again it is pi times small r square times h that is going to be the volume of metal so we can write this as pi h times capital r square minus small r square now we know h already but we don't know capital r and small r we haven't solved it yet but what we do know is that if you factorize r square minus r square as r plus r into r minus r we know each of these separately look at this r plus r is 13 and r minus r is 3 so beautifully we can just substitute for those values here and you get pi into 10 into 13 into 3 which happens to be 390 pi centimeter cube since the total surface area was given in terms of pi we can leave the volume of metal answer also in terms of pi okay if pi value is given as 22 by 7 as, or 3.14 you can substitute or you can just leave it as it is but important to write that the unit is centimeter cube so this is the final answer that we need the volume of metal in the cylinder is 390 pi centimeter cube